Tool Manager IQ has a useful grouping function that I'd like to show you now. I'm going to show it in the Tools subsection, and it is this pull-down menu and this plus button, but you also have it in the Holders subsection, as well as the Fixtures and Fixture Assemblies subsections. And they're all independent, so your groups won't intermingle and get confusing. If you take a look here, I already have some groups pre-made, but I'd like to add my own group. So I'm going to click on the plus button. The first tab is for making groups. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new group with the new button, give it a name, and save it. You can see it goes in the list, and that list is sortable. There's also a rename button and a delete button for managing my groups. And once I have a group, I can go over to the second tab to assign tools to it. The first thing I want to do is choose that group in the pull-down menu. Anything in this side of the list will be in that group, and all of my tools available are going to be in this list. And to carry them over, I can just pick one or as many as I want, and press this button here to put them in the group. And to take out of the group, I can do the same, pick one or more, and press this button to take them out of the group. I'm going to add a few different tools here, and that will be my tool list in my group. If I close this, and I go ahead and choose my group in the list, it only shows those tools. The naming is up to you, so whether it's by the machine that the tool goes to, or part number, or anything, you name it what you want. Any tool can be part of multiple groups, so it's an easy way to manage all of your tools and make it a little bit quicker to, to find them as well. Now that's quick, but there is a quicker way where you can add to a group while you're adding tools. I'm going to add these tools from GibbsCam directly, so I'm going to go ahead and select them all. And I'm going to do an import from GibbsCam. And in there, these are the grouping functions here. So on the fly, as I'm adding tools, I can make a new group, or I can pick another group and assign those tools to it without ever having to do the lists and carry the tools over. I'm going to go ahead and make a new group. Maybe this one is by job number. I'll save it. And those tools will automatically go into that group that's selected there, whether it was made now or pre-made and picked from the list. I'm going to go ahead and check off Add All to add them all at once. Press OK. And now those have been added to the main list but if I want to find them quickly, I can come to my job number one. That group has all of my tools there, and I'm good to go.